man, I wish, or man, that would be cool, man, one day. No, you make that one day become today. Today, start. That's a real goat. <laughs> Today has been good so far. It's still, I think, decently early. I think it's like 10.30 or 11 o'clock or something. I'm trying to get out of here today, so at some point, I'll leave. <laughs> I wanna try and get to the beach at least, maybe before sundown, but we'll see how that goes as of today with this sealing everything up. I'm doing, this die core stuff is awesome, man. This, this is what, <laughs> If I'd have known about this, I would have gotten this at the beginning. I didn't even know that this stuff was there. I've heard of the company and stuff, but I didn't know like this stuff was that good. It even smells good. So I've done the die core everywhere pretty much that there was needed. I used the self-leveling self one on the roof and then the regular one on like the sides here and stuff. I noticed that these bolts in there were a little like goofy kind of you know not any seal or anything around it so went ahead and just pushed it all in there squeezed a bunch in there as, as well as all around here and then all down there because right here where i was just pointing was actually where uh where it was leaking last night when you know at the end of the video about a rainbow uh when we showed i showed that rainbow so i resealed some around the window and over there i know it's not that pretty but you know what if it doesn't leak i've said that before in my videos i'm a form th form first kind of guy um you know it, it can look cool that's awesome you know whatever but if it doesn't work then i don't really care if it looks like the taj mahal you know it doesn't work so i just wanted to get it to where it's not gonna leak that's my only concern i don't give a crap about how it looks i mean this looks stupid but i think i'm gonna uh, flex seal this one though too because it made it a lot cooler inside and i don't ever really look out of those windows anyways so yeah you want to take a look inside check this out boom My mom even made a corner pillow out of my Papasan chair. Check this little thing out though. This is a little hack. So your uh, paper towels fall down when you're driving. I know people that are in RVs or anything like that, they'll attest to it. Like it just starts unwinding itself. So what I did was I put on a hinge some of that flooring that I had left over and it already is in like a bent form and it just rests on this paper towel roll and even when it's a bigger roll it'll still grab it you know and it only needs a little bit you know only a little bit of pressure to keep it down so that worked out pretty cool i did this right here um cut out this poster or this sign uh, and cut out the cut it out right here to hide the cords so it looks a little bit cleaner and like I said yesterday I cut that board I put these two doors back on um, my mom's finishing up the cushions and I don't know if y'all noticed but I uh, painted this wall also so it's like a two-tone thing um, yeah it's pretty nice right now it's coming along very well so we got down here um, wiring everything back up this is super super sexy these um 
these little things right here my mom showed me that she got and these are amazing nails with a cable holder on it and so you can like put wires wherever you want and I'm um, making it real clean under here and super organized to where none of the wires are really running over each other or anything like that um, so yeah drilled more holes and I'm actually doing it this time super clean and pro install on this is I'm, I ran everything out and under uh, and then it comes up under my seats and that's gonna go to the speaker over here and then that's the uh, head unit sending wire so the remote line and um, the uh, RCA inputs so if you know anything about car audio um, I'm sure these are like a known thing, but these are amazing. So, yeah, let me know what you think. I think it looks pretty neat. Let's take a... Ooh, excuse me. Take a look up here. This seal tape or seam tape stuff is pretty amazing. It's, yeah, pretty much exactly the same as this butyl tape, but it has a like a vinyl backing on it so it's a lot more weather resistant I guess and then I did it to there I'm gonna get it more and do that whole edge but this is all I have right now so I'm gonna cut it there do a little bit on that back edge and then do this side with it and hopefully I have enough for that so yeah and I'm not really going to go into the depths how to do this because I am definitely not a professional at it. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You just like take off that uh, plastic coating that's on the other side of it and leave this white coating on. And hey, you just lay it on and roll it. Pretty simple. So, yeah. Man, tired today. Everything's coming along really well. I mean, look at this. Looks pretty awesome. My mama just made me some food, which is good. Uh, almost done, started to put the seat stuff back in. Got the seats over there, that's next. Gotta eat first though, man, I'm tired. So, uh, eat, get some energy back, and then get this shit done. Boom! Look at this guys, it's all done. Been a long day so far and I need to get over to the beach. So about to head out uh, here in a minute, get some clothes up back in here. And yeah, I'll do a better in-depth tour of it and a different video, but yeah, check it out. Everything's pretty dope. Everything's back in here, so. Woo. There's Steve out there cutting the front pasture. Uh, got everything packed up and you're about to leave. Look, these are two surfboards, I mean four, <laughs> with those back there that are just hanging around. Uh, and when, I, when we moved, when I was up here and helped them move, counted in uh, the family, we have 13 surfboards, uh, you know, that we use and there's another one up there so you know people might think that i'm just like oh i want to go be a beach bum but no this is my life like i have been a beach bum my whole life you know so i'm just getting back to it new orleans became 
kind of stale to me. I still love the place and I have history there. I'm not, not going back, you know. It's just, this is what I want to do right now in my life. And so I'm, I am doing it. You have to achieve the things that you want. You have to act upon the dreams that you have. You can't just, it's forever. It's crazy. Like literally, I remember being the guy saying, man, I wish, or man, that would be cool. Man, one day. No, you make that one day become today. Today. Start. That's the one thing that I can offer of advice is start. I listened to this audio book when I used to do the, my PI job, and it was literally called by John Acuff, and it's a book called Start. How to, how to begin something, da da da, and stop living in fear, or something like that, right? So but just look up John Acuff, Start. Listen to that book, man, it's amazing. The dude went through, had 39 or something like that w2s in one year because he was achieving and chasing his dream so you know guys all it takes is initiative and do it to itness so i'm about to do it to it and get on the road and it's like 7 30 so it's probably going to be a little late when i get there this video might be late but i will upload a little blurb and uh probably either this one or something yeah whatever you'll see it <laughs> all right guys peace If you guys don't know who Vanavlog is, you need to check him out. This guy's good. He's, I really appreciate his filmmaking. Uh, guy's funny as shit, too. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no clue where I'm at. I'm off of Interstate 64, heading towards the Outer Banks. I'm going into the Manio side of the Outer Banks, and this is just an exit, and there's a, I haven't heard of that. Handy Mart, <laughs> uh, Mickey D's, uh, Bo Hangley's, <laughs> Bo Hangley's, uh, Bojangles, and looks like something over there. But tons of trucks at this place, and just gonna get some Aya Le Gusta La Gasolina. I'm a little tired, but if I have service, I'm okay. But when I have no service, I can't do anything on my phone. Like, I can't listen to music. I can, but you know, whatever. I like to listen to my Spotify. Because it's got a lot of music that I don't have on my phone. Tips to stay awake on the road. Uh, chew gum. Um, think. That's what I do. Like, if I'm about, if I'm tired or something, I like will sit there and like make myself think about stuff, like uh, video ideas or what I'm gonna do, different shit like that. So, yeah. It's 2.12 in the morning, and <laughs> I'm 25 miles from being to the Outer Banks where I need to be, and I saw that this gas station. Look what is at this front door. Meh. Goat, goat. <laughs> What the hell? That's a real goat. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a real goat. <laughs> what the hell? So if y'all aren't sure what Nags Head looks like, it's literally just an island. I'm literally just driving on an island. Well, Made it into the Outer Banks and went over to the Walmart that's at pretty much mile post zero. And if you're familiar with the Outer Banks, then you kind of know what I'm talking about. Near the rest area and uh, found out there they got big old signs that say no overnight parking. Huh. So, no big deal though. Not going to let it worry me because I will be 
I have a plan of action to where being a surfer, there's a certain camaraderie that you have with other surfers and stuff. And so I'm just gonna find a local person and work out some sort of deal where I can just like park in their driveway or whatever, something like that. So I'm not worried about it. That'll be the plan as of now or um, get a job at a surf shop or something and just park there. So not worry about it, day one. I can hear the ocean. My beer is still cold from my uh, cooler. I got my surfboard, skimboard, skateboard, bike. Life's good, guys. <laughs> Life's good. What did you do today to start towards your path of greatness? Because tomorrow is always going to be tomorrow. Today is today. See y'all later.